When working with Chainlink on non-Ethereum chains, we actually have to export the Link token from Ethereum to that chain via some sort of bridge. Once the Link token has been converted, we can then proceed to use the Chainlink token normally. Some bridges though, only support ERC-20 tokens and Chainlink is an ERC-677. So we actually have to do one additional step. So we're gonna walk through the example of moving the Chainlink token from Ethereum to Polygon, previously known as Matic. So same as always, always be sure to check the link in the description and check the documentation for the most up-to-date version of this. And that's even where we're gonna be starting in the Chainlink documentation. So to convert the Chainlink token, we come to the Chainlink documentation and we go to the link token contracts. We're gonna scroll down to Polygon, previously known as Matic. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the Matic bridge and connect our wallet. Be sure to make sure you're on the Ethereum mainnet wall on this bridge. And you can check how much link you have by checking your MetaMask. Once you've decided you want to convert Chainlink over, we can just go ahead and look for the link token. And you can put the amount you want to transfer. I'm only gonna transfer one. Then we just hit transfer. You can see you can also switch from Matic back to Ethereum with this bridge as well. But let's go ahead and move one Chainlink token from Ethereum to Matic. We'll hit transfer and this will pop up saying deposits take seven or eight minutes. And we'll continue. We'll get the gas cost, continue, continue. And once we hit continue, we're gonna confirm the deposit. This is going to lock up the link token on this smart contract on the Ethereum chain and unlock it on the Matic chain. Continue, confirm. And we're gonna wait seven or eight minutes for the token to be transferred. Then we'll see the transfers en route. This is giving the proof of stake bridge actually time to validate the transactions and unlock it on the Matic side. After some time, we'll see the transfer has been completed successfully and we should be able to view our link token on the Matic chain in our MetaMask. Let's try it out. Once it's been confirmed, this means that we actually have an ERC20 version of the Chainlink token on the Matic chain. And this is great, except for one issue. Again, Chainlink is an ERC677 and is specifically designed for working with oracles. So we have to take one additional step to transform it into the ERC677 token that it really is. And to do that, we're actually gonna use the PegSwap application, which you can again find that in the Chainlink documentation. So you'll come to PegSwap and you'll immediately be asked to connect with MetaMask. Now we'll need to change to the Polygon chain or the Matic chain. There's a link in the description to add Polygon or Matic to your MetaMask if you're unfamiliar with how to do that. As you can see right off the bat, I can't actually see the Chainlink token here because I need to add it. So we can actually come to this peg swap, scroll down to the bottom, and we see we have two different addresses here. We have the bridged link and the ERC-677 link. The bridged link is that ERC-20 version of the link and the ERC-677 version of the link is the link that actually works with oracles. So what we wanna do is copy this address Hit add token, custom token, paste, next, add token. And you'll see we actually have one link on Matic. This is the ERC20 link, which again, doesn't work with oracles. So then what we need to do is we need to copy the correct token, scroll down, add token, custom token, paste, next, add token. And you'll see we have one ERC20 version of link and zero ERC677 version of link. That's where the swap comes into play. So I wanna swap one Matic bridged link to one wrapped ERC-677 Oracle compatible link. We just hit swap. We make sure that the peg swap has enough link in there. We're gonna hit confirm. And that's gonna approve. We're gonna hit confirm again. And it says swap complete. And now if we check our MetaMask now, we can see it has been transferred from the ERC-20 into the ERC-677, and now we can use the link token.